Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I talk about personal finance. Today I'm going to talk about how eating out keeps you poor. Before I get into the video, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying I subscribe. I will try to personally reply to your comments. Let's get into the video. The average American household spends about $3,000 per year on dining out, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Bearing in mind that one person spending exclusively on himself or herself does not constitute as a household. Do you think you would ever be able to afford to spend that much money? So let's take a look at this again. You would spend approximately $10 each meal if you ate lunch every day from Monday to Friday for a year, which is a great deal at most eateries. Every week, this amounts to $50. It's easy to spend that much money if you go out to eat two or three times a week. Getting takeout or having food delivered is still considered dining out. Because of delivery minimums and surcharges, staying at home is almost as expensive as going out. If you spend $50 a week on restaurant food, you will spend $2,500 per year, which is about average. This sum is approximately half of the annual food budget of the ordinary American. To make a profit, restaurant charge roughly a 300% markup on the items they sell. You are paying for comfort and convenience. In many cases, a $15 restaurant lunch may be cooked for $5 at home. Granted, the meals you cook at home might not be exactly the same. It is sometimes worthwhile to spend a little extra money on a professional prepared lunch. People eat out for a variety of reasons, including socializing, celebrating, trying something new, and unwinding from their busy lives. If you dine out frequently, for the sake of convenience though, cooking at home could save you a lot of money. At first, it will be tough to break the habit of eating out every day. Breaking a habit, especially one that makes you feel good, can feel like pulling a piece of yourself away, especially if it has been so ingrained in your routine. Always remember, always remember, always remember that you are doing this for the greater good. Take into account your future, your health, your family, and everything else that is terrible habit is harming. Here is how to eat less at restaurants. The first method is make a strategy in advance. You will need a plan if you want to reduce your eating out. Make a plan for what you will eat in place of those meals ahead of time. On Sunday, make a list of exactly what you will eat for the rest of the week and then go out and buy it all. You can even prepare those meals in advance and freeze or refrigerate them, leaving you with nothing to do but heat and eat. Understand how difficult it may be to reduce food spending, but it's 10 times more difficult if you do not have a plan in place because it will be all too simple to revert to old habits. The second method is make use of frozen food. 
I understand that eating a frozen meal isn't always the best option, but it's still a lot less expensive than eating out. And if you are serious about your health, you should only do it once in a while. This is a good starting point for home cooking and meal preparation. You can also eat as much frozen vegetables as you want because thanks to modern flash freezing technology, the nutritious wolf of the vegetables does not deteriorate. According to some studies, frozen vegetables are healthier than fresh vegetables because they are frozen as soon as they are picked, whereas fresh vegetables have been sitting out in the open for a long time and have passed through many hands during transportation, which isn't the cleanest situation. The third method is consider different cooking methods. You may not feel like cooking after a long day at work, so instead of driving to the nearest fast food establishment, make recipes that are very simple to prepare. Make a sandwich, buy deli meat, or learn how to prepare eggs quickly and completely. There are a variety of methods for preparing food at home that do not require long cooking times. Thanks for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel.